The Togo national football team, nicknamed Les Epervieres the Sparrowhawks, is controlled by the Fédération Togolaise de Football. The national football team of Togo made their debut in the FIFA World Cup in 2006. Their team bus underwent a fatal attack in Angola prior to the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations. They withdrew and were subsequently banned from the following two tournaments by the Confederation of African Football In 2013 for the first time in history, Togo reached the quarter-finals of the Africa Cup of Nations. History They made their first FIFA World Cup appearance in their history in 2006, having been coached throughout the qualifying campaign by Stephen Keshi. German coach Otto Pfister managed the team at the finals, despite having resigned three days before their first match over a player's bonuses dispute, only to be persuaded by the players to return. Prior to gaining independence in 1960, the team were known as French Togoland. Topic. 2006 World Cup Togo lost their opening game of the World Cup, despite having taken the lead against South Korea through a goal by Mohamed Kader. In the second half, Jean-Paul Abalo was sent off after 55 minutes, and goals from Lee chun Su and An young Wan sealed a 2-1 defeat for Togo. Togo's next opponents in Group G were Switzerland, with the match scheduled for the afternoon of 19 June. However, the Togo squad and manager Fister threatened to refuse to fulfill the fixture and take strike action. The squad and manager had been quoted as requesting payments from the Fédération Togolaise de Football for participating in the tournament of around €155,000 with added bonuses for victories or draws. FIFA negotiated with the squad and manager on the 17th of June, persuading them to travel to Dortmund in time to fulfill the fixture. Goals from Alexander Fry and Tronquillo Barnetta resulted in a 2-0 defeat. FIFA subsequently imposed a 100,000 Swiss francs fine on the Togolese Federation for behavior unworthy of a participant in the World Cup. Togo's final group game against France ended in 2-0 defeat. 2006 Sierra Leone Air Disaster After a 2008 African Nations Cup qualifier away to Sierra Leone on 3 June 2007, 20 members of a delegation of sports officials from Togo, including Togolese Sports Minister Richard Adepoy, were killed when their helicopter exploded and crashed at Lungi International Airport. No players of the Togo national team were among the victims. The Togo players and officials of the team had been waiting to take the next helicopter flight to the island on which the airport is located. 2010 bus ambush and ban On 8 January 2010, the Togo team bus was attacked by gunmen as it traveled to the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations tournament, killing three and injuring several others. The separatist group Front for the Liberation of the Enclave of Cabinda FLEC claimed responsibility for the attack. Goalkeeper Kadjovi Obilale was reported dead a day after the attack. Such reports were later dismissed by his club GSI Pontivy in a press announcement, stating the player was actually undergoing surgery in South Africa. Following the bus ambush attack, the Fédération Togolaise de Football stated that they would withdraw from the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations, despite claims that the team had since reversed the decision and would compete, to show our national colours, our values, and that we are men. As announced by Thomas Dosavi, the government later ordered that the team return home. Following the team's withdrawal, the Confederation of African Football (CAF) banned Togo from participating in the next two editions of the Cup of Nations and fined them $50,000 because of the decision taken by the political authorities. The CAF executive committee considered that the Togolese team was in forfeit notified less than 20 days before the start or during the final competition. Art 78 of the regulations for the Africa Cup of Nations, rather than having withdrawn Art. 80, and refused to consider the circumstances as force majeure Art. 87. Togo's government immediately said they would sue as CAF, have no consideration for the lives of other human beings, and this is further 
insulting to the family of those who lost their lives and those traumatized because of the attack." FIFA has yet to comment on the issue. Togo footballer Thomas Dosavi said, "...we are a group of footballers who came under fire and now we can't play football anymore. They are crushing us." Togolese captain Emmanuel Adebayor described the decision as, "...outrageous." and said that CAF President Issa Hayatu had completely betrayed the Togo squad. As a result of the events, Emmanuel Adebayor announced his retirement from international football on 12 April 2010. But on of March 2011 Adebayor announced that he was again available for the national team. <laughs> Fake Togo team On 7 September 2010, Togo allegedly played Bahrain in a friendly losing the match 3-0. However, on 14 September, the Togo FA claimed that a fake team had played against Bahrain. Togo's sport minister Christophe T. Chow said to the Jeune Afrique magazine that nobody in Togo had ever been informed of such a game. On 20 September 2010, it was revealed that former Togo manager Bana Chanelay was the culprit and the Togo FA have given him a three-year ban in addition to the two-year ban he got in July 2010 for taking Togo players to play a tournament in Egypt. The match-fixing has been linked to Wilson Raj Perumal and the Singaporean match-fixing syndicate allegedly run by Tan Seat Eng. Topic. 2014 World Cup qualification Togo began qualification for the 2014 World Cup on November 11, 2011 against Guinea-Bissau. They drew in the first leg 1-1. On November 15, 2011, they won the return leg 1-0. On June 3, 2012, they played Libya in Lomé and drew 1-1. Shortly after on June 10, they played Congo Drive at Kinshasa and lost 2-0. They resumed on March 3, 2013 and played Cameroon in Yaoundé and lost 2-1. They met again on June 9 in Lomé and Togo won 2-0. In the end, Togo failed to qualify for the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. Topic. Competition records. Topic. World Cup record Topic. Africa Cup of Nations record Topic. African Games record Football at the African Games has been an under-23 tournament since 1991. Results and fixtures Win Draw Loss Topic twenty seventeen Topic twenty eighteen Topic twenty nineteen Topic Players Topic Current Squad The following players have been selected for the AFCON qualifier match against Algeria on the 18th of November 2018. Caps and goals updated as of the 18th of November 2018 after the game against Algeria. Topic: Recent call-ups. The following players have been called up for Togo in the last 12 months. Topic. Previous squads FIFA World Cup 2006 FIFA World Cup squad, Togo Africa Cup of Nations 2017 Africa Cup of Nations squad, Togo 
2013 Africa Cup of Nations squad, Togo 2006 Africa Cup of Nations squad, Togo 2002 Africa Cup of Nations squad, Togo 2000 Africa Cup of Nations squad, Togo 1998 Africa Cup of Nations squad, Togo 1984 Africa Cup of Nations squad, Togo 1972 Africa Cup of Nations squad, Togo equals equals coaches <laughs>